Hi, do you like origami? Look at the jumping frogs I made. <laughs> Aren't they cool? Hey, did you know origami can teach you a lot of things? Patience is one thing it can definitely teach you. But it can also teach you about triangles. Yes, triangles. Do you know any object that are in the shape of a triangle? Just take a look at this jumping frog. It's actually made up of many, many triangles. Do you want to see how? Okay, let's make one and see. Take the sheet of paper and just fold it at the center like this. Do you see any triangles yet? No, just two rectangles, right? Hold on, they'll get here. Now, fold the paper like this. And unfold. And do the same with the other side. See any triangles now? Yes, here they are. Do you know what the corners of a triangle are called? They are called vertices. What about these? Yes, these are the sides of a triangle. And what do you call these parts here? These are the angles of this triangle. What would you call this line here? Can you see that it joins the vertex and the opposite side in a perpendicular line? This is called the height or the altitude of the triangle. Just like the altitude of a mountain. Wow! So we've learned a lot about triangles already. And we're not even done making our jumping amphibian friend. Hmm, all this learning is actually making me hungry. Well, it's good that I made these sandwiches. Hey look, even these sandwiches are triangles. Hmm, I can't seem to figure out how to divide the sandwich into two. What if I take the center of this side and cut from this point to the opposite vertex? Yes? Yeah, I think that seems perfect. Do you know what this line is called? The line from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side of a triangle is called a median. Okay, ready for the next step? So now, fold the paper like this. And unfold it. Can you see all the triangles? Did you notice something? Look at these three triangles. This angle right here is called the exterior angle. Can you tell me where the adjacent angle to this exterior angle is? Yes, it's this angle right here. The other two angles in this triangle right, are called the interior opposite angle or the remote angles of the exterior angle. Now, there's a rule called the exterior angle property of a triangle. It states that exterior angle is always equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Don't believe me? Let me explain. Can you see line AC? Since line AB and CE are parallel, AC is their transversal. So angle 1 and angle X are alternate angles. Hence, 
1 is equal to x. Similarly, if we look at line BC, it is the transversal of parallel lines AB and CE. So angle 2 and angle Y are corresponding angles and are thus equal as well. This clearly shows that the sum of 1 and 2 is equal to the sum of X and Y, which is the exterior angle. So you see, all rules can actually be proven if you just take a minute to look at the clues. Similarly, we have another rule called the angle sum property of a triangle. Let's take this triangle and tear each of the three corners. Now, just place the corners together like this. Ta-da! The three angles add up to give a straight line. So, they make a total of 180 degrees. This is true no matter what the shape of the triangle is. So, what have we learned? Yes! that the sum of the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degree. Hey, we've been learning so much about triangles that we've forgotten about a frog. Keep watching to see what to do next with the jumping frog.